taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not. Say goodbye to Braxton Miller and all the way in for the touchdown. Braxton Miller, 67 yards. And his guy's now just a two-point conversion away from tying us up. Bortles is going to throw for it. Goes right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Parker, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established his run game, the play action pass could very well be open. And he'll take this one down to the 36. They give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. Not a run that you're gonna write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And they'll go on the ground. He cuts it right. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. 23 yards on the play. All right, I've got to be careful here, all right? He's on the plus side of 30. There may be a little gray in the beard, but that's not slowing down his speed as far as he's concerned. What he's saying, I'm on the plus side of 30. Well, if you're on the plus side of 30, you don't know what I'm on the plus side of. <laughs> all I know is that run right there, let us know there's still some life in those legs. Absolutely, still got a lot of life left in those legs. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Marshawn Lynch taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. This offense ready to take over again. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now Bortles. He's going to go up top again, and he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play, and guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Here we go on fourth down with Bortles. Flushed out right. And this is incomplete. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish holding that to a minimal gain? Third and four. Thomas, the lone receiver left. To throw is Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Brian Quick, the intended target. And it's fourth and four. 
Right, let's go ahead and try and get into the body and the mind of the linebackers. Yeah, I know they're bigger and stronger than I ever was, but in this situation, they understood what was going on as much as the offensive guys. Because the offense guys always taught, find the first down sticks and make the play. Well, on defense, what do you want to do? Guard the first down line. Make sure they don't get there and tackle them in front. They're able to drop in their zone coverage, figure out where the first down line was, and end up making the play, swatting it away so they couldn't get the completion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jordan Cameron, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And it's up and good. Now after the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup hey, 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 and hey, recover. Hey, hey, hey. We go. Back to the air on second down. It's Bortles eluding the pressure right. Miller on the catch over the middle. And he's brought down after a good game. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And it's caught. Touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders, 50 yards. Well, his guys are able to make this a close game again. And all he takes off with it, it's a fake. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And he is not going to get to the goal line. And for the first time here this afternoon, they are thwarted on the two-point conversion. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff, and it's away. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up men. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. To throw his Bortles, and unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on the toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working. Now here's Whistles and another timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. On play action, Rodgers. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. And partner, are you kidding me? With this game that he's having, we are in uncharted waters like we've never seen before. Just think, if he keeps every football from all the touchdowns scored today, <laughs> Does he need to build a new trophy room? Uh, at home? Yeah, yeah. A couple trophy rooms. <laughs> Maybe a whole home for a trophy room. What a phenomenal performance, and I'll guarantee you he's going to reward the rest of the offensive unit after this as well for helping him get to this number. He better. This is just unreal. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. 
And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Will Hill. And he's able to get it back here to the 43 yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Thomas, the lone receiver left. Throwing now is Rodgers. And caught by Cameron right side. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Still in search of the first down after that last completion. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Rodgers throwing here. Oh, no, he lost the football. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defense is talking about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. Exactly right. A lost opportunity. Javon Curse able to get in there and drop him behind the line. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Shorts has got it. Oh, look at the Jew. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Now a play fake. Bortles. He's got time. He's going to let it fly. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Defense has set themselves up nicely. Third and ten now. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the... Emmanuel Sanders, 30. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And he's across for two points. Boy, a gutsy call right there, but the fake works. And they get the two instead of one. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken about seven yards deep. Special teams coaches spent a lot of time scheming things up, but this was just a bad return. Now the offense has a long way to go to try to put points on the board. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And now this is going to be a safety. Oh, my goodness, in the final minute, down two, and now we're looking at overtime. And the defensive penetration there blew that play up and got him two points. How about how they got off at the snap of the football, got upfield into the backfield, and created the big play? That's the key to everything. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, 
You're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.